In chapter three, we'll develop a tool called integral analysis, which is extremely useful to study fluid flows in cases where a lot of information is available about the problem. It's a big and powerful tool, and so we'll take two weeks to go through it together. As you prepare for chapter three, I'd like you to think about the following problem. Imagine that in front of me there was a machine and into that machine came water with a pipe and then stuff happens, unknown stuff happens inside the machine. Maybe the water is compressed, maybe the water is heated up, we don't know. All we know is that water comes out vertically like this and the pipe is larger and so the water is slower. The question is, if I have to hold a machine in place, what kind of force do I have to compensate to compensate for the flow of the water? What, what kind of force do I have to compensate? Yeah? So in other words, what is the, the aggregated effect of everything that happened inside the, the machine? And how do I quantify this? Just by looking at the outlet and the inlet without knowing what is inside. Chapter three will learn to answer that, that question and we're learning to answer in, in a variety of ways for problems much more subtle than, than stuff having just one inlet and one outlet. In fact, we'll study stuff for arbitrary control volumes where the flow goes in and out everywhere all the time. And we'll, every time we'll be able to answer the question, what is the net force? What is the net power required for this flow to go through this volume? As you prepare for chapter three, I'd like you to think about this problem. Imagine that the water incoming had a velocity that could be represented with a vector that looks like this and the velocity out with a vector that looks like that. Okay. The question is, what is the net force that is required for the water to change its velocity from that velocity vector to this velocity vector as it goes through the machine? What is the net force for the water to flow through the machine? You should be approximately halfway through the chapter by the time you can answer this question. Yeah? And we'll tackle the rest uh, the following week together. I hope you have a nice preparation and I'll see you later in class.